I'm Joanna Moyer Diener, the health coordinator at Eastern Mennonite School, and I'm here to talk with you about the daily home screening for students, which is on our COVID page. And this is something that we're asking you to do each day for you or your student before you come to school. Before you even move to the questions in section one, symptoms, we have to ask you some important questions before that. And that is, have you recently been diagnosed with COVID with or without symptoms? Are you suspected to have COVID? Or are you waiting for test results for COVID? Or have you recently been in close contact with someone with known or suspected COVID, that is for more than 10 minutes within six feet? If you answer yes to any of those questions, we wanna keep everyone safe, please don't come to school. Please follow up with your provider and follow the instructions that you've been given. If you answer no to all of that, then we can go ahead and move on to section one, symptoms. <laughs>we're ready for section one symptom screening. You can see I folded the paper in half because the top part symptom screening is really all you have to worry about each day when making your decision to come to school after you've answered no to the questions we covered previously. So we're ready to do this. Naomi, getting ready to go to school. Yeah. Oh good. All right so let's check your temperature. Go ahead and put it under your tongue and your mouth. Good. Close your lips. Okay let's see what the reading is. 98.7, fantastic. You don't have a fever. Do you have a sore throat? No. Okay. Do you have a cough or do you feel short of breath? No. I, I, didn't, I didn't think so, that's good. Do you have diarrhea, vomiting? No. How about abdominal pain? No. Okay. Do you have a new headache? No. Good. Sounds like you are good to go to school. Yes. Now we're gonna do another scenario. Naomi, getting ready to go to school. Let's go ahead and do your symptom screening. Okay, let's check your temperature. There you go, under your tongue. All right, let's check the reading. Ooh, 101.7. Oh, you mustn't be feeling so great. Well, no. So now you have answered question one, yes to one of the questions in section one. So you can't go to school. And what do we do from here? So now that we know she can't go to school because she answered yes to a question in section one, that's when we would think about section two. Those are gonna be things that if you've answered yes to a question in section one, to talk to your provider. We need to find out what's going on in the community with COVID transmission, what are gonna be the recommendations for you at this point in time. But you won't go to school, you'll follow up with your provider to see what happens next. 